Hey Techstars, Liam here. Did you know that the classic racing game Revolt has been re-released on Steam? This is an absolute retro delight from the year 1999. It did originally come to Steam in 2013, but sadly, the release had to be pulled from Steam when it was found to contain code written by the community that they didn't have permission to use. Now it is back, although it's not the best port and thankfully we can make it better. We can also make it work perfectly on the Steam Deck and a Linux desktop. We're going to use a game engine called RVGL. It's a cross-platform rewrite that just performs better and works nicely across all platforms. So for the Steam Deck and Linux, you're going to need our friend ProtonUp QT. You can get that from the Discover Software Center directly in desktop mode on Steam Deck or from Flathub on a Linux desktop. This is the same tool that we use to download GE Proton. Inside here, we're going to install software called Lux Torpedo, which I've shown off before to get the likes of Morrowind, Warzone 2100 and Classic XCOM working on Steam Deck nicely with their native Linux game engines. You should see it pop up in the corner. I'll link it that in the description as well. Once you have Lux Torpedo installed, just jump straight back into gaming mode if you're on a Steam Deck. Head to the Revolt game in your library Go to the cog icon on the right so we can access the properties. Then in the compatibility menu, put a tick in the box and select Lux Torpedo from the drop down. When you go to launch, it will warn you about downloading the RVGL game engine. It's all fine. Just hit A until it downloads. And this will quite literally give you a perfect experience on Steam Deck and Linux desktops. Now, I won't show a whole lot of footage of the game directly because... To be honest with you, my skill is just outright embarrassing. I haven't quite got the dead zone to a point where I like it in this game just yet. And frankly, at racing games, I just suck completely. And this one is really, really challenging. For Steam Deck fans, though, especially, it brings a classic re-release from unsupported up to what I would say could be verified. Hopefully you found that helpful for anyone who loves tiny RC car racing and just loves classic and retro gaming. It's just nice to be able to get another game to work really nicely. That's all for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll catch you next time.